Welcome to Youth Group on YouTube. Welcome to Youth Group on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about humility and the impact it has on our influence. But before that, we have a huge announcement. Okay guys, for our announcement today, we have some big news. We're back! I don't know about you, but I am so pumped to be back together. But I'm also excited about today's lesson. Humility. What does it really mean to be humble? Well, I'll tell you what it's not. Humility is the opposite of being arrogant. Humility is the opposite of being a know-it-all. Humility is the opposite of thinking we're better than other people. Humility is knowing that other people are valued and matter just as much as we do. In the Bible, God is always telling and reminding his people to be humble. He even gives them a powerful tip to help them be humble. Listen to our scripture from Leviticus chapter 19, Verses 33 through 34. When a foreigner lives with you in your land, don't take advantage of him. Treat the foreigner the same as a native. Love him like one of your own. Remember that you were once foreigners in Egypt. I am your God, your God. This isn't the only place God reminds his people to remember where they come, came from. To remember and think about what they've been through and because of that, to have humility and compassion on others. There's a bunch of scriptures. Exodus chapter 13, verse 3. Exodus chapter 22, verse 21. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 15. Deuteronomy 10, verse 19. Deuteronomy 15, verse 15. Deuteronomy 23, verse 17. Deuteronomy 24, verses 17 and 18. All of these scriptures, including the we want the one we read, help tell people a secret about being humble. One of the ways that we can remain humble is thinking about and remembering when we were low, remembering something tough we went through. For God's people, the Hebrews here, he's always reminding them in these scriptures to remember when you were a foreigner, remember when you were a slave in Egypt, remember when life was really, really tough for you being in another country? Well, because of that, because it was so tough for you, think about the people now who are coming to your country, the foreigners among you, those going through a tough time. Include them, have compassion on them, be humble enough to know that they're going through something tough and use your influence to make a difference. In just a second, you're gonna see a video by Connor Howard, or Chow as you might know him, sharing about how this looks in real life in this youth group not so long ago. When I was in youth group here, I didn't always feel welcome, especially at the beginning. I was a new sixth grader coming into youth and walking into a room with 50 other people was already really intimidating. A bunch of the kids were older than me, and none of them really even cared to learn my name. I was just called kid, and I was asked to move out of the way or get them a drink from the fridge. And all that really hurt, and I wasn't the only one who felt this way. A couple years later, myself and many others were older, and we decided that we wanted to make a change. We wanted to make a difference. So we used the influence that we had to make the newer, younger youth feel welcome. We never really sat down or talked about it or planned how it was gonna go. We just all felt this burden that we were gonna make a change and they were gonna make a change for the better. And I believe we created a safe space where everyone was welcome. And because of that, people came to know Christ and accept him as their Lord and Savior. Last week we talked about how we're all called to use our influence to make an impact and a difference in this world, to make the people 
and the community around us better. Just like Chow told in his story, you can do that. You can do that at home. You can do that at school. You can do that at youth group. You can do that wherever you're at. One of the ways that you can make a difference, that you can use your influence to make this world a better place is by being humble. It's by remembering pain or, or something specific that has happened to you, whether that was being left out or whether that was being bullied or whether that was just when a friend said something mean or, or whatever it was, you remember that pain and you say this, I don't want anybody else, no matter what, to feel that. As Christians, we can remember the pain we go through and then use our influence to make sure nobody else goes through the same thing alone. Pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you that you've brought us out of bad situations, God. But don't let us forget the pain we felt. Instead, help us to be humble and remember what we went through and give us courage, boldness, and wisdom to help other people who are suffering as well. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. Thanks for that lesson, Landon. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and mark your calendars for our summer hangouts, high school hangout and middle school hangout. Remember that you are loved by God and you are loved by us.